All right, guys, welcome back to another Steam free to play walkthrough. This is Bumpy the Bunny, The Danger of Wishes. I tried to play it earlier, but I was too drunk and decided it was a little bit too mature, the video I made. So I just like, I'm going to play through it again. I'm going to try to beat it this time because I kind of just gave up on it earlier because I was too drunk and I was just like, no, nah, I can't do this because it plays like an old NES game. And you do not get continues, you do not get um, checkpoints really, besides levels. If you beat a level, then you'll start from there with your hearts. But if you lose all your hearts, you gotta start all over. So it's super challenging. I'm gonna see if I can do this with the controller too. I don't know if you can, but I'm gonna try. It is the start of 1234 Bunny Hops before history in the small town called Bunzika. Bunzika, a town fully populated with rabbits and one cyborg rabbit. Two, however, stood out from the crowd. Muppy and his brother Dark. Muppy was super nice to everyone. Even in the worst of times, he was the, there to help, even though the same thing can't be said for his brother Dark. He always tries. Dark was a mean, very mean rabbit. He was always coming up with schemes to get rid of Muppy, because nobody liked him. After failing, he came up with his worst idea yet. Dark grew more powerful every bad thing he did. Growing off of hate, he gained enough power to take over this ancient world. He enslaved everybody and turn, turned them <laughs> into, I think that's what he wanted to say since he spelled it like that, into minions of his own. All but one little bunny, Muppy. Muppy hid so well and the light so bright, only someone with heroic capabilities can see. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, but that's fine. Muppy knew he was the world's last hope, so he ran after Dark, but he was too late. How will he save the world, or would he even do so? Now the question is, how do I parachute on the controller? Can I parachute on the controller? It's not looking like it. And I need the parachute. The parachute's the best ability in the game. Uh, I don't think you can do it on controller. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do it on the keyboard. Hooray. Back to the challenge. He almost got me. Yeah, this is like a super challenging game because like if you die, you instantly respawn and you can die again, which is <laughs> phenomenal. And sometimes something I noticed was if you're on these brown falling platforms, they will treat... Um, like the falling animation of the platform as you're like as a falling animation for you and you will not jump like sometimes in the game you just just the game just chooses not to let you jump which is actually like super annoying but it's not that frequent that you can't beat it and if you spam if you spam the a key then you should get you should be fine hopefully but sometimes you do have to spam the a key i noticed like see right there i feel like he made it where the platform doesn't th fall through just to make up for that like falling animation that happens when you're on top of it. But I don't know that for sure. I'm just assuming. And you know what assuming does, boys and girls? It makes an ass out of you and me. Dun dun dun. Except I'm already an ass, so it doesn't do anything to me. Ha ha ha! Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I played this game for like a solid hour, and I was just like raging and drunk, so I was just like, eh. We'll do a video. We'll try again, because I want to beat this game. I remember that was something I really wanted to do even when I was drunk. Like, I was about to give up a couple times, and I was like, nah, I want to beat it. <laughs> but I didn't. I got like super far. I got to like chapter two, and then I got yellow sniped by some stupid thing. Like, I was super pissed, actually. <laughs> But, yeah. Usually I don't have too many qualms about posting a drunk video, but this is kind of like a kid's like game, so I just would rather not <laughs> the event of like watching this video being younger and just being like, oh, he's cussing. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So this is kind of cool because like that ra that ghost going all the way across the stage is letting you know this is the lo last stage you have before the boss fight in chapter one. All right, let's do this. And the boss just comes right at you too. Like you have, 
You might not have a chance if you're not paying attention. Oh, I didn't get a good enough jump. Like this crap right here. <laughs> yes. This is a game though, as you put, oh my God. You do notice you're getting better at it, kind of. Because I used to not get to the first boss, but now I get to the first boss like consistently. And I get him freaking destroyed. No, I used to, I don't, I remember when I quit playing before I was like, while I was still drunk, I like, I beat this pretty consistently. It was the second stage that, God. Oh, I need just cheap shots you like when you spawn. <laughs> it's so annoying and I don't know why I can't make that jump now. But I'm aggravated. And there's also two parts. I don't care what it looks like from the stage I was on. Water stages are always the most difficult. That's just a fact. Yeah, that balloon tried to kill me. Wrong, son. I'm Muppy, the platforming rabbit of legend. Oh, legend. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not of legend. I lied. Oh my god. Wrong Muppy. <laughs> nice. Barely made that one. Chapter 2 A Freezing Disaster. That's what we're going to call it. This whole freaking game's a disaster, my dude. I'm just kidding, it's not, uh, it has problems, but it's not awful. I could see that he was going to make it challenging, but you can't make it challenging and have glitches. That's like a really bad combination, to be honest. A really frustrating, annoying combination. Boy, let me tell you, how mad. At least on the bright side, time passes super slowly while you're playing this game, so you can just play it forever. Because I've felt like I've been playing this forever, and it's only 11.39, and I started playing it again at like 10.40, maybe 10, 10 o'clock. No, probably like 10.30, something like that. Something like that. Alright, let's try to do this stage without losing too many lives, which is really hard to do for some reason. What's the reason? I don't know. Ah, he touched my parachute. Why does that count as a death? For real, why does him touching my parachute count as a death? That doesn't really make sense. Why is my hitbox the parachute? Who knows? Find out next time on Cameron is not good at this game. He hates it. <laughs> he hates it! Next time I'll get all the carrots on my way up so I don't have to worry about it. Duh. I didn't know you had to get all the carrots though because that just started on chapter two. The end of chapter two even. Okay, that almost got me. Man, why not? Why not just kill everything? That might as well. It's safer that way. Oh, I'm about to been punched there for whatever reason. God, punch, dude! Please, punch! Control strike again. The undefeated champion.
At least you didn't put one down there. That would be freaking annoying. What? Could you imagine? If you just put a carrot down there, just one carrot to get to, that would be so tilting. Okay, focus. Ooh, you tried to get me. You tried. What's up? Well, at least we got more lives than we had last time. If I kill that thing down there without dying, that's a big what if, but not even kill it. I just need to get that last carrot, to be honest. If I could just avoid him and get that last carrot, that'd be dope. Not gonna lie to you. That's pretty much the goal. Chapter 3! Don't get glitched the game. You gotta be careful, because if you swim too high, I know you're gonna die. For whatever reason. Like that! Oh, you pissed me off, game! Why? Just why, dude? You want me to go under it? I'll go under it. Screw it. Why not? <sighs> At least it's not taking my last life for whatever reason. What? You can't go under it. Why? Do you torment me so? Game? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Language. <laughs> ah! At least it's not taking my last life, but that's a small consolation for getting my butt reamed. Do I gotta get all the carrots? Are you... No, okay. Oh! I missed. I just flat out missed. Risking it over some dumb crap. Like not hitting the top of the stage because that's such a dumb thing. Yeah, baby. Come on now, I didn't... I guess I did, I guess I did. I'm just gonna go this time, I'm not gonna wait for them to pass me for whatever reason. I don't know why I did that. I know why I did it. I don't wanna play this game anymore. Honestly, if this game goes on much further, though, I'm just gonna chalk it up as an L. Oh, it's still going. Hmm, interesting. Okay, yep. 
All right, guys, my review of this game, because I'm not going to beat it. I'm not going to beat it. I am not that determined. The controls are hit or miss sometimes. Like, sometimes you won't jump, you won't punch when you're supposed to, when you hit the key. The game, all together, is pretty well put to It's, like, pretty well put together if you want to make a challenging game. But it's challenging for the sake that it fits the old school games of like only having so many lives and then you have to start away all the way over if literally it didn't have that and you just started from the chapter the game would be beatable it's not difficult because it's hard it's difficult because you only have so many lives and then it makes you start all the way over it's kind of like that nes thing and i don't really agree with that method of raising the difficulty in your game like vacant kingdom's hard because it's hard like that's an actual difficult game this is hard because it's kind of hard but mainly because you got to start all the way over, so... Yeah. Uh, and I think in this day and age, if you can't put, like, a save state in or a continue spot... I, I know the creator chose to do that, I'm pretty sure, because he just wanted to make it more difficult. Which is fine. For some people, I'm sure it would be super satisfying to beat it, but... Not for me. No. That's, a, that's good enough for me. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. If you could, please like and subscribe. Bye!